doing a Reddit AMA. Uh, we'll be answering fan questions that they have for Kayla Harrison. Is it video or it's literally just am answering questions on a yeah, computer? Yeah, fans are already dropping questions. I'll read them off to you, type of the answer. Okay. How did you get so slow? Hard work and dedication. Who are your favorite fighters of all time? Frank Edgar, GSP, Khabib. GSP's gonna be there for Friday. GSP is? Yep. Is he single? <laughs> I think he is. What's your opinion on Ronda Rousey's career? Oh, don't believe your own press. Keep the right people around you. But she was a trailblazer and a pioneer, and for that, I'm thankful. Would you rather fight one toddler-sized Cejudo or 20 Cejudo-sized toddlers? <laughs> Say the second part. I I'd, I'd imagine Triple C might be a threat with the added reach of a kid. <laughs> <laughs> a toddler-sized Cejudo, so it's more fair. <laughs> that was a good one. When it started the Grand Prix, her mind was already, you know, she was prepared for the moment she's gonna leave. She's gonna leave on Friday night. We are here to make statement, and we know that. She know that. You know, she give up a lot of uh, pleasures in Brazil to stay here, focus for the fight. She know what's up. You know, she know what she wants, and she want that. Ask the five ladies she fought <laughs> if she punched your heart, you know. Yes, my man, it's five KOs in the first round. Listen, love and Amanda Nunes, but at this time, it's Larissa era right now. You know the Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat Fatality? You know, you finish the opponent and he's like this and you do the fatality. Wow, sound, sound. That's it. Friday night, don't miss. Larissa Pacheco and the new. New. Yeah. champion. We uh, flew into New York and got in about 6 p.m. Got to the hotel, put our stuff down, and then did a little shake out. Uh, I'm trying to train around when I'm going to be fighting, so training around 8 p.m. I train every day, so it's weird if you just do nothing. I was very excited to hear that uh, we're coming back to MSG for the final. That's kind of like a storybook ending, winning the world title at MSG. That's just, yeah, couldn't ask for anything better. This is my dream, you know? Some people dream their dreams, and I'm living my dream. There's money's so huge, you know what I mean? I, I have no idea what is this money. I don't want to think of this money now, I just want to think of my legacy, you know, to be world champion. Yeah, it's been a blessing because, you know, obviously I'm hoping to win the world title on Friday and a million dollars. It's my daughter, Myla, she's seven, she's got epilepsy. Um, a few years ago, 2019, she had her first seizure. She got put in a coma, nearly died. She had status elliptics. We obviously have wondered what's causing the epilepsy. Sometimes you're just born with it. We've been looking for answers for the past few years, but finally on the MRI, it showed that she's got something wrong with her brain. And yeah, next year she's needing a brain surgery. So yeah, that's just obviously given me some more motivation. Just financial freedom a little bit. What's up? Good morning, good morning. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the most exciting week of the year in all of MMA. 
This Friday night, six million dollars and six world titles are on the line, all taking place inside of Madison Square Garden, inside the Hulu Theater. Thanks everyone for being here. Obviously, uh, we're very excited about what's coming up on Friday, not only because it's uh, our championship, but because it's our first venture into pay-per-view. And uh, But I wanted to start the conversation with our main event. And Kayla, this is being billed as your biggest rivalry in the PFL. It's the third time you fought Larissa Pacheco, but I think it's safe to say, even though you beat her twice, she is a very different fighter on a five fight winning streak that includes five finishes. What happens if Kayla Harrison gets hit by the power we've seen from Larissa Pacheco? I mean, can you call it a rivalry if you've never won a round? I don't know if that's fair. I don't want to put that kind of pressure on Larissa. It's not a rivalry. You know, just because you don't see me get hit in a fight doesn't mean I don't get hit, you know? I, I train hard. I train harder than, than pretty much anyone I know. And I put in the work so that on fight night, it looks easy. So. I get hit. I'm not worried about getting hit. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to instill my, my will one round at a time, one minute at a time, one exchange at a time, one breath at a time, and I'm going to break her. For Larissa, if I could, what would mean more to you? Would it be becoming a champion or would it be being the first person to beat Kayla Harrison? Ah, acho que as duas coisas, né? É, eu quero tanto me tornar campeã quanto eu quero essa revanche. Eu acho que ela já está na vantagem, já ganhou duas vezes. Acho que agora é minha vez. Me preparei para isso, então é, essa é a meta for both Baba and Brendan. Uh, on Monday, you guys were at the Empire State Building and you were uh, having fun with each other, joking around. How do you turn that off and want to fight each other? Baba's a great guy. I'm not going to sit here and like, oh, I hate him and this and that and try and make up some fake rivalry for all you guys. But I will try and punch a hole in his head on Friday night and he'll do the same to me. And we'll all enjoy watching it. Uh, love him or like him, I'm definitely going to knock his head off for a million dollars. Uh, I like him. I love my children. So it's him or them. And he, he got to go. <laughs> he got to go. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to bring President of Fighter Operations Ray Sefo out to face these fighters off. At this time, please welcome the president of Fighter Operations, Mr. Ray Seth. In the blue corner, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Virginia Beach, Baba Jenkins. Yo, how I get the blue corner when I'm ranked higher and I never lost a round this year? How I get the blue corner? In the red corner, fighting out of Manchester, yeah. England, Brendan Lockney. The disrespect. You know what time it is. You know what time it is to you. I don't read your clocks. Can't clock out. You're you hoping it's long. <laughs> Blue corner of my ass. Y'all know I'm the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting out of Middletown, Ohio, here is a two-time PFL world champion, Kayla Harrison. 